In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to flash the firmware of the Lighton DG16D2S Xbox 360 DVD drive with iExtreme firmware on a desktop computer. Before we start, you're going to need uh, some particular hardware and software. Um, I made another video. I suggest that you look at that in order to get a feel for it. But a quick recap. You're going to need the VIA 6421A SATA PCI card. You're going to need the Connectivity Kit version 3 from Team Executor. You're going to need the probe add-on for that Connectivity Kit. And I believe that's all the hardware that you'll need. Okay, and I'm using Windows XP to do this. I'm uh, remote desktoping to my other computer. That's why you see this window right here. <coughs> there is a bit of a problem with the VIA cards uh, when it comes to doing this. Uh, so there's a workaround for it. So um, first install your VIA card and then uh, get, get that completely installed. go into device manager and now I'm not going to do this because I've already done it go into device manager find your VIA card disable it I'm not going to do it disable it go into your Windows system 32 drivers folder and rename the VIAM raid.sys file to something else. I renamed mine to dot old. Then go back into device manager and re enable the VIA card. You'll get this little yellow ex exclamation mark, and it's totally normal uh, temporarily for what we're doing. Uh, the VIA cards will freeze your computer for. Uh, this light on drive it's just weird just make sure you do this real quick uh, so you don't get any freezing issues <coughs> you're going to, it's uh, crucial that you use a serial connection for the CK3 instead of the USB because the USB is found has been found to be defective uh, in the CK3s uh, but a serial connection works just fine so Make sure you're not plugging a C, uh, USB into the CK3. All right. So I'll quickly lead you through how to connect your drive to the CK3 and to your computer. Uh, you're gonna want to take your whole drive out of your 360 and flip it over and you'll see the four screws that I have in red here and unscrew those and take this bottom metal plate off here it is with the plate off here are the connections it's fully connected to the computer uh, you got your CK3 here a Molex connection um, a serial connection and here is the probe add-on you want to make sure the black uh, cable is coming from the drive and when you turn it on you should get blue lights on the uh, probe and on the CK3 um, so what you're going to want to do once you have it all connected is turn off your computer completely boot your computer into the BIOS but make sure you hit your function key whatever function key it is for your computer uh, to pause your startup once you pause your startup turn on the CK3 hit the eject button on the CK3 now now before you turn on your computer you gotta make sure the CK3 is off make sure everything's off but anyway in your BIOS when you've paused it turn on the CK3 
eject the drive and then hit the eject button again but before it fully closes as you can see here turn the, the CK3 off so you should get this what you see on the screen um, and so while the CK3 is still off While the CK3 is still off, uh, boot into Windows and you know start up your login and start up your Windows. Okay. Now you're gonna wanna uh, once you're once you're in Windows and you're logged in, turn on the CK3 and open up Jungle Flasher. I have it open right here. All right. Now this is kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky to find it at first, but on the board of the drive, there's these four points. Um, it's kind of difficult to find it. You're just gonna have to look at these pictures and find it on your own. Uh, if you can find this little black area right here, it's right above it and there's four points the third one from the left is the one you're looking for uh, you're gonna wanna touch the probe the little point of the probe onto that third point and hold it there and then you're gonna wanna hit the get key button make sure you go to the DVD key 32 tab in Jungle Flasher and hit the get key button while you have the probe touching that point. This will dump your firmware. There's a bit of hardware protection built in to the CK, I mean to the uh, light on drive. That's why you have to touch this point in order to read from the drive so it'll ask you to save four files key inquiry identify and dummy you can just hit no on this prompt okay you have your stock firmware loaded right here at the top now open target firmware and open the iExtreme Light On 1.6 firmware. Click Spoof Source to Target in order to copy your drive key over to the hacked firmware, and then you and I suggest you save your hacked firmware somewhere. Now go to the MTK Flash 32 tab and <coughs> this is a little tricky. You want to click light on erase click yes and now at this point it says like as soon as you click yes you'll see some dots start to come across this bottom part of the screen as soon as you click yes power cycle the CK3 turn turn it off and on in quick succession this might take a few tries And if that doesn't work, see you have unknown type right here, so that doesn't work. If that doesn't work, hit intro device ID and do the same thing.
Okay, now it's worked. You see name right here. Everything's displaying how it should be. So you can hit erase, and it will erase your drive. This will take just a little bit. Okay. Now click right. Verify. And now you have successfully flashed your drive with hacked firmware and it will boot burn games.